Hi, welcome to the TGN YouTube channel. I'm Jason. Today we will be unboxing something that is very, very new that has just been passed to me from TP-Link. Alright, so basically it's a SMB router with built-in Wi-Fi for Wi-Fi 6. Alright, so today we are talking about the ER706W. Alright, so the W stands for wireless. Alright, so for this particular router, you will definitely need to have the controller either on the cloud or on premises or using a OC200 or OC300. Right, let's talk about the Wi Fi. It's on 11AX3000. Okay, and the uniqueness about this router is it actually has one SFP port. All right, so before we go into unboxing, let me go through very briefly. Uh, it has, like I mentioned, one SFP port, five RJ45 gigabit ports. Uh, it has VPN functionality. All right, and not only does it support the usual VPN IPsec um, F2TP, it also supports WireGuard. Alright, so that's the latest uh, VPN thing that's going on right now. Okay, and of course, with the multiple uh, five RJ45 ports, you can actually configure them as a multi WAN load balancer uh, in terms of load balancing. And of course, with the controller online, you will have also the mesh technology from uh, Omada's technology. Okay, so let's open up and let's see what's inside. I have not seen it yet myself. Okay, so. Right, see, so upon opening it up, uh, we have the router, okay, uh, instruction manual, and all the guidebooks, all right, okay, so it has actually three antennas, so it comes with three Wi-Fi antennas, okay, uh, in my case, I have the UK power adapter, okay, and that's it. All right, it doesn't come with any UTP cable uh, for this time around. I'm not sure why. Okay, maybe they expect us uh, who are doing uh, SMB products to have our own uh, UTP cable compared to consumer products. Uh, for most of the TP Link consumer products, they actually do provide the UTP cable. All right, and let's look at the actual device itself. Okay, right. So on the front, we can see that there is also a USB port. All right, um, the SFP connector. This is SFP. It's not SFP plus. All right, so it's only one G. Original. It has its own uh, single wang and the four LAN ports. Right. For the four LAN ports, you can actually configure them to become wang. All right. So you can just choose and pick and choose. All right. Uh, for the SFP, you can either configure either as a wang or as a LAN. All right, so this time around, you can, and the reset button is in the front. At the back, um, let's see what's on the back. We have uh, AC power, right? Um, Earth, and of course the three Wi-Fi antennas. Okay, so it's a very sturdy product and very uh, well built. It not only can put it on a desk, but also you can also wall mount it. So this time around, they actually thought of it that um, there will be people wall mounting this particular unit and to be able to completely utilize it, right? So like I mentioned earlier, this does not come with the controller on board. You will need an additional controller for this, right? Of course, you can configure them as a standalone by itself on IP base. And of course, you will still be able to use it as a SMB router, a VPN, multi-wang VPN router. Okay, and if you have any questions, please do leave a comment. The video is helpful. Please remember to click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.